Little by little, as the seasons change on the roads in the midi region of the south of France, the kaleidoscope of colours on the hundred-year-old plane trees dazzle us with their beauty. And especially on the 240 kilometres of the Canal du Midi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996, where some of the trees are over 200 years old. Built in 1664 by Pierre-Paul Riquet, the 134km stretch between Carcassonne and the Mediterranean Sea comprises more than 42,000 plane trees planted during the period of Napoleon III. These giants support the fragile banks with their strong roots and protect them from erosion caused by the wash from passing boats. But also, they afford shade, oh so very welcome on a hot summer's day. These majestic old trees have suffered disease, ill treatment, and fire. But even insults like this from a cantankerous old fusspot couldn't prepare them for what was ahead. These plane trees are impossible. They're full of noisy cicadas and those dreadful starlings that dirty everything. Have to sweep up leaves by the ton every year. And they're a road hazard. I just look. And the pollen makes me uh, sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. No, don't talk to me about plane trees. They should all be cut down. Oui, madame. That is what we are going to do. And just because of a little fungus contained in the wooden ammunition boxes brought over by American soldiers in 1945, coloured canker is not only a contagious disease, but also an incurable one. And so, it's 42,000 magnificent plane trees that must be sacrificed to save the rest. The roads in the Midi will never look the same. But the cruelest blow of all will be the loss of these beautiful cathedrals of green on the Canal du Midi itself. And so, in spite of an overpowering emotion, the race is on to wipe out these monumental giants. It will take at least 40 years to eliminate all trace of them and replace them with the Platanor, a new resistant species. So, for some of us, it's only a question of time. But for others, it's goodbye forever.